Diana began her journey by moving from Hong Kong to Canada on her own at the age of 16, overcoming incredible language barriers, the culture shock of being in a new country, and her own, in, her own shyness. Things made more difficult without having the local support of her family. The, this experience greatly shaped the person she is today, a role model to students across the greater Toronto area and to new immigrants, many who share similar experiences. Diana has over 10 years of experience working with thousands of students, new graduates, newcomers, and business professionals in training and development, career coaching, mentoring, leadership, and talent development, and MBA admissions and recruiting. She worked at top-tier organizations, including TELUS, Accenture, Richard Ivey School of Business, and most recently at Google. Yay, we love Google. Um, <laughs> Diana completed her undergraduate degree and MBA from the Richard Ivey School of Business. She's also a professional coach and completed her training at the Coach Training Institute. So welcome, Diana, and thanks for closing off the evening for us. And it was a really, really tough life for me. And what I did was three things to overcome it. One was I volunteered a lot. Get out there, volunteer, you know, make some friends. Second, I got myself three part-time jobs. I worked at the Gap, Colonels, Mandarin, so I could learn about customer service and how to fit in. Third, I went to chapters a lot, read a lot of books, and listened to the radio a lot. One of the first books I read when I came to Canada was called a first habit, uh, Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens. And it actually turned my life around because when I first came here, I was actually pretty depressed in my first year. I thought that my parents didn't want me, that's why they sent me over here. Um, after reading that book, I actually, that's when I decided to live my life with purpose. And I uh, realized that my parents sent me here for a purpose and to set a good example for my younger brothers and sister. So my mission was to really be a good role, uh, role model to uh, many, many others. And luckily enough, um, throughout my journey here, I met a lot of great people who took me under their wing. I had just high school friends who would invite me over for dinner, Thanksgiving, Mother's Day, Christmas, New Year's, to really share with me, like, what's it really about here being in Canada? And I was really grateful for that. Um, I had a high school counselor who was like my father at that time. And I had no idea which university to go to at that time. And, all I remember was that I just wanted to be away from London, Ontario, because it was not enough diversity for me. So I was like, oh, I just want to be away from London. And luckily, he encouraged me to apply to the Richard Ivey School of Business, um, one of the top business schools in, um, in Canada. And I applied. I uh, got pre-accepted in high school. And luckily, it was due to the fact that I did a lot of volunteer work. At that time, I was the only person in high school who got pre-accepted, only physical minority, only immigrant girl at that time. So it was a pretty big deal. Um, and then when I got to university, my, my other big challenge was, how am I going to pay for this? You know, getting into the Ivy Business School, you know, it's really, really expensive. Um, so what I did was, I quit all my part-time jobs that I had, started my own tutoring business, uh, tutored students from grade one math all the way to university level math, every single math course that I tutored because I was good with numbers. I so started my own business and I was lucky enough that um, parents and teachers in my high school, they were my advocates. They were the ones who gave me the business. And what really helped me uh, pay my way to university. And um, the other thing was giving back. I did a lot of volunteer work. Um, I was a peer mentor, a big sister to hundreds of first year students, new immigrants, really setting a good role model and example for them because I really understood what it felt like of the challenge that I felt, um, of go all the challenges of being on, here on your own not having your parents and uh, coming home sometimes like just against her for, for a while that you have nothing, you know, no one to talk to. So I decided to set a good role model. I did a lot of uh, motivational speeches in uh, helping people out. And fast forward, when I actually got into Ivy, third year university, guess what my parents decided to do? They decided to send my other brother, sister, uh, brother and sister over for me to take care of. And there were nine years and 12 years younger than me. So all of my friends and my close friends were all worried about me, like, how is she going to do this? Running my tutoring business, volunteering like 10 plus hours a week, um, and trying to get good through school at that time. And so a lot of people actually lent their hand by helping me and uh, helping my brother and sister to transition into Canada as well, like whether it's teaching them English, taking them out, which I'm really, really grateful for. I even had professors who, um, you know, just gave me time off sometimes to, to take care of my, my brother and sister and helping them transition. Um, so those are some of the challenges that I, that I went through. And then fast forward after when it came to graduation, like, what's next? Do I go back to China or do I stay here in, um, in Canada? 
And luckily enough, when I look back at my career throughout the last um, eight years working in a corporate environment, what I have learned is it's really the people. What I've learned, a lot of my friends here, even though I don't have family here, my friends are like my family. And my first job at uh, TELUS, it was through an information session that it was really the relationships that I formed that people recommended me to get into leadership program. My uh, second job in Accenture, um, at that time, I got that job. I was the only female in my MBA school who uh, got into a top tier consulting firm. And it was actually my former boss who uh, made the recommendation. And that's something I'm really, really grateful for. Um, my, my third job, working at the Richard Eddy School of Business, you know, really want to help other people, um, was also referred through my classmate in my university days. So you talk about the relationships that you formed. Um, and then my most recent job at Google, working, I was the first and only recruiter for Heading Up Canada. Um, it was referred through my former MBA classmate. So you talk about the relationships that people have formed, that's what I'm really grateful for. What I want to celebrate today on International Women's Day is how people have touched our lives in, in this world. So uh, what I leave to you is what I call um, my five E's. I do a lot of motivation speaking right now, and it's really my mission is to help people to live life with passion, to live with purpose, and to live to their fullest potential. So my five E's, my call to action for, for all of you today is, uh, one is embrace diversity. Second is explore the possibilities. Third is empower women with confidence and hope. And fourth, enable the opportunities for women. And my fifth, is encouraging active participation in the community. Thank you very much.